Today we're installing Mattermost so you can have your very own self-hosted chat server that's secure. And yes, I'm a Docker fanboy and we're installing Mattermost with Proxmox. Containers, not Docker. Or is it? Mattermost is an open source self-hostable online chat service with file sharing, search, and integrations. It's designed as an internal chat for organizations and companies and mostly markets itself as an open source alternative to Slack and Microsoft Teams. Okay, so to get started installing this on our Proxmox server, we need to, what we're going to be doing is creating a container for Mattermost. So this is a very basic, simple, pretty much a one-click deploy. And what we'll do is we will choose a storage that where we want to store the Mattermost template. So what we'll do is we'll select a storage. I'm going to use this one here, and then we'll browse the templates that we can download from Proxmox. So we'll, we'll scroll down here to, actually you can just search Matter and you'll see the turnkey Mattermost here. We'll go ahead and double click that and click download. And then we'll let this download. And it should just take a, a few seconds. It shouldn't take long and when it does, we'll get back to you. So it says task okay, which means it has finished downloading. So we'll go ahead and click the little X here and now we can see in our storage that we have chosen here, we can see the turnkey Mattermost. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and click Create CT or Container. And then we will, I like to put my containers in the 300s, so I will do a 301 for this one. And the host name is the name of it, so it'll show up here next to the container. I'll just call it Matter for now. Uh, the password is going to be the root password of your installation. So go ahead and put a secure password in here. Now click the template tab at the top and we have to select a storage where we want the installation to go. You could do it locally. You can choose any of the remote storages that you have set up. I have a few different Synology set up. I will just choose my Synology storage and the template that we downloaded, which was the turnkey Mattermost. And then we will go to the root disk tab. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a 20 gigabyte disk size because I'm not sure if I, how much I'm gonna be using this and how many images I'm gonna be uploading, but this is where you need to decide how much you think you're going to be using this and are you gonna be doing a lot of media uploads, a lot of file uploads. So take that into consideration when you choose your disk size here and go from there. So you can always upgrade the disk size later in Proxmox, which I can show you how to do here in a minute. For CPU, I have four cores, so I'm gonna go ahead and max it out at four cores. And the memory, I will leave it at 512 because it uses very little memory because it is a container, it's not a VM. For the network, this is where things can get a little tricky. Uh, I like to just have things assigned automatically for both IPv4 and v6. And then for DNS, I will put my router, or I'm sorry, my modem, which is 192.168.1.1. And I'll do the same thing for the D DNS uh, domain. And then on our confirm page, I will click start after created and I will click finish. And this will go through the process of installing it Mattermost on a container through your Proxmox. And then once this is completed, it uh, last time when I set it up, it took just a few minutes and it shouldn't take too long. And once it does, I'll get back with you guys and we'll go from there. All right, it looks like once again, we have a task okay. And I can see the matter over here. It's kind of dimmed out because we have this window up here. I'll go ahead and X this out and we can see it here. Let's go ahead and view the summary of it. See how it's doing right now. So you can see right here, it's using 203 of 512 uh, megabytes. It's not even using half. It's using about 40% memory. And from here, we need to find the IP address. And to find the IP of this container, all you have to do is just click on the console, wait for it to connect. And you may have to log in. If you have to log in, it'll be root. And then your password will be the password you chose for the container. And then you type in IF config. And your IP will show up right here by INET. And that's the IP that we're going to open up in a new browser. So let's jump over to that IP address. And here it is right here, 192.168.1.199. It says, please initialize the system. Uh, this is how the turnkey system works for Proxmox. And it will tell you to open up PuTTY and SSH into it and log in via SSH. Unfortunately, that's the only way you can do it. 
and you can also use Windows Command as well, which I'll show you right now. All right, so what we need to do is just pop open the start here and go CMD, pop open our command prompt, and we want to type in this right here. So we type in root, I'll just copy that, and then we'll paste it in the window by right clicking, and then hit enter, and then you'll type in the word yes, and then the password is the password that you gave to the container. Remember I said this will be your root password, that's the, run, that's the one you're gonna be putting in here. So this will log you in and then it'll take you through a quick little command here and you'll put in a couple more passwords. So actually I wanna make sure I did that right. And then you'll have to do it again. And then another password for the Mattermost admin account. So you'll have to remember these passwords when you're putting them in. And then an email that you want to use. I use it's NAS hosted. Email.com. Enter a domain. I'll show you how you can do this. It's pretty simple using NPM. So for now, we're just going to hit apply. And this we will hit skip. So we'll tab down and over to skip. And enable local system notifications. I usually skip that as well. And then we are ready to install. So let's go ahead and let this run. And this will just take a few seconds. It'll set up the database for Postgres SQL. So we'll let this run and I'll get back to you guys in a second. So once the installation is complete, I went ahead and maximized the command prompt here so you can see it a little bit bigger. Um, it comes up with this screen, which they call the advanced menu. It, it shows you all of the IP address and the ports of the different systems of the turnkey, which is the Mattermost installation, which is on 199 default. The web shell, the webmin, the adminer, the SSH, FTP, SFTP that you can use to access the files of the container, which is really nice. So you can access those files and it's a really good way to be able to have more control over this particular container. So let's go ahead and take a look at Mattermost. Okay, so here I am back over on the page where we started, which is 192.168.1.199. Now, if I refresh this page and I hit F5, it should show us. Okay, let's go ahead and accept the risk and continue. And here it is, our turnkey Mattermost. It says all team communication in one place, searchable and accessible anywhere. So. We have a username of admin and your password that you chose and it will sign you in and it, what's it, what it wants you to do is create a team. Uh, we'll go ahead and save that for now or you can go to the system console. Uh, we'll go ahead and create a team. I'll just call it home and go next and it's okay that we don't have a domain name set up yet and we can change that and I'll show you guys that here in a minute. And this, it's showing you what it will look like. So we will click finish and here it is. And it shows you a cool little tutorial, which you can go through to learn more about Mattermost and what you can do with it in kind of a quick overview. So if we click next, actually, I'll just read this really quick. It says, welcome to Mattermost, your team communication all in one place, instantly searchable and available anywhere. Keep your team connected to help them achieve what matters most. There you go. How Mattermost works. It says communication happens in public discussion channels, private channels, and direct messages. Everything is archived and searchable from any web enabled desktop, laptop, or phone. So you can download the apps for your desktop for both Windows and Mac. Also, they have uh, apps for both Android and Mac OS devices. Also, you can access it via the web. So let's go ahead and take a look at getting this puppy secured so you can access this remotely over a proxy. Okay, so just a quick note before we move forward, and I just needed to say this, that if you expose anything to the internet that's pointing at your home IP address, there's always an inherent risk. It's not a great risk, but obviously the more things you have pointing and the more subdomains that you have pointing towards your home IP, the greater risk that you can be found and the greater risk that you could be hacked or compromised. So do understand that. And everything that I do share on my YouTube channel that talks about exposing things, not everything that I talk about on my videos I have exposed out there. These are just examples that I'm sharing to show you how you can do this stuff so that you can do this. So take it as a grain of salt or take it very seriously, but do it at your own risk. That's all I'm gonna say. All right, now that that was said, let's go ahead and click the little hamburger menu here on the left side in our Mattermost instance, and we will go into System Console. 
And what we're looking for is under environment, you'll see this little link here that says web server. So let's click that. And this is where we can change our domain name and our IP address. So the first thing we wanna do is change this listen address. So we know that this is not right. I mean, how many times have I said the IP that my Mattermost instance is on? It's 192.168.1.199. So I'll put that in 192. And remember, keep this in mind that yours may not be on this IP. In fact, it most likely won't be on 199. It could be on whatever it is. You could have a different VLAN and it could be on something totally different. So do understand that you're gonna to need to figure out what that IP is and what it's installed on. So I happen to have a Fing box that uh, sends me a push notification every time something is added or joins my network, it says, hey, this device joined and it gives me the device name and the IP address. So it's an amazing little tool, check it out. You can get them on Amazon for I think like 80 bucks or 100 bucks or something like that, but they're pretty awesome. All right, enough babbling. Now we need to set up a domain or an A record so we can get this working with Nginx Proxy Manager and that's what we're going to do right now. So for this next part, I'm gonna be setting up a domain or an A record through Cloudflare. And this is kind of assuming again that you have a static IP address. Um, a lot of people out there don't really have static IP addresses, but their IPs don't usually change unless you either A, change your router or your modem's MAC address, or you get a new modem. So um, I've had Fios and Comcast and never had issues with my IP changing. That's not to say that some of you out there have providers that give you very short leases. So if that's the case, this part may not work for you, but you can still use this locally and you can still use this over your local IP address. So if you don't have a really good long lease on your IP address, this part may not be for you. Sorry. So here we are on the beautiful Cloudflare desktop in the DNS section of my domain, which is geek.me. And I wanna give a big thumbs up and shout out to my good friend, David Burgess over at DB Tech. Check out his channel because he pretty much convinced me to use Cloudflare and it is amazing. And since I've been using it, I gotta say it's, it's, it's a wonderful tool, but this is what we're going to be using to control our domain. And I'm gonna go ahead and add an A record and we are going to call it just chat. And it is going to be an A record, so we'll call it chat. And then it'll be chat.geeked.me. So you can see that it already kind of shows you here, right here. And the IPv4 is going to be your IP address, your home IP. So you can find that by going to Google and just typing in my IP. And your IP will come up and you'll stick it in there. And I will say, before we add this to Nginx Proxy Manager, you wanna go ahead and make sure you click on this and make it DNS only because if you don't, um, Nginx Proxy Manager won't, or I should say Let's Encrypt f through Nginx Proxy Manager won't be able to see your home IP to assign you that certificate. So we'll come back in here and change that back to proxied. So it helps cloak your home IP uh, when we're completed doing this. So for now, make sure you change that to DNS only. Now just click save and that's it. So we'll click save and there it is. Oops, I wanna make sure that this is not proxied and click save. Now all we have to do is just head over to our Nginx proxy manager and add a new proxy host. So let's go ahead and put in that subdomain that we made or a record, which is chat.geeked. Oops, chat.geeked.me. Sorry, I have such a loud keyboard. It's one of those cheap mechanical ones from Amazon. Then we'll change this to HTTPS. The, do you remember the IP of my server? 192.1. 68.1.199 and the port is actually going to be 443 so it'll be secure I know that's different I haven't gone over that yet but we'll click block common exploits just for added security and then we will go and request an SSL and this is where it comes in this is where I was talking about in the and over in Cloudflare that you didn't want to proxy it yet so it can see your home IP request the SSL and then you can go back and reproxy it. So you can cloak your home IP over on Cloudflare after you do this. All right, so then click I agree. You wanna make sure you, you check these two at the top and then click save and we will wait for that to complete. Now over here on our system console on the Mattermost dashboard, we wanna make sure that we change a couple more important things here. So this port needs to be changed from 8065 to 443 and then it'll give us access to Make sure we forward port 80 to 443, which you want to set to true. 
And then here at the top, you want to make sure we change the site URL from example.com to chat.geek.me or whatever you made your A record through Cloudflare or whatever domain system you're using. And you want to make sure that you have this as HTTPS as well. And then you will click save. So now's a good time to jump back over to Cloudflare so you can go ahead and switch this from DNS only to proxy so it cloaks your home IP address. Make sure you click save and this will take usually around five minutes before you can ping it and see the Cloudflare IPs instead of your home IP, but it will work eventually. There's not much to it. And now it's the moment of truth. Will the A record work that we created? Let's find out right now by typing it in the address bar. Yay, it works. And there it is. There is our Mattermost on a reverse proxy using a SSL, which is secure. So you can share this with your friends and family and you can have your own chat system just like that. So that's it. You set up your own secure Mattermost chat server. Pretty easy, not much to it. That's gonna wrap up today's video. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, be sure to leave me a thumbs up. If you have any comments, be sure to drop those in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. Click the bell icon if you wanna know when the videos drop. It'll send you a push notification on your phone saying, hey, Geek just dropped a video, go check it out. Thanks a lot for watching you guys. That's gonna be it for today. Bye for now.